Hey everyone, Jason Hill here, and thanks for joining me because today we are going to be grilling up some bone-in beef short ribs, and we're doing it Hawaiian style. Let's get started. Okay, for this easy recipe, you're gonna need about two and a half to three pounds of bone-in beef short ribs, and these are the 3 8 inch cut, and you can see they're choice. I got nice marbling in there. They're gonna be wonderful. All right, now we're gonna make up the marinade. Okay, let's start. We're gonna do a half a cup of water, and about a third cup of soy sauce. And we're gonna put in a half a cup of brown sugar, followed by a good two tablespoons of your favorite chili sauce. If you want a little more spicy, you could add a little more of that. A teaspoon of fresh ground grated ginger. If you want to use my garlic shallot puree, it's a good uh, tablespoon, and if you don't have that, you can do two cloves of crushed garlic. Then we're gonna put in the zest of one orange and the juice of a half an orange. Now we just give this a good whisk. You can put a pinch of salt in if you like, but the soy sauce is salty on its own. There we go. Okay, I've added the ribs to a gallon uh, zip bag, and we're just gonna carefully pour the marinade in. Oh yeah, smells so good. Give it a good zip. You can even put this in a little pan in the refrigerator in case it starts a leak somehow. But you'll want to marinate this for at least two hours, but best is overnight. And you'll want to work the bag, oh, every now and again, just so it gets evenly coated. And they soak in this wonderful marinade. All right, we'll see you at the grill. All right, I've had the ribs marinating, now it's time to hit the grill. Preheated my grill to medium, and you're only gonna put these on for about six minutes, three, three minutes per side, unless you like them more well done. Amazing. Hawaiian style ribs for Kona dog. This is our new dog, Kona. A couple minutes, let's give him a turn. Now, short ribs, you can get them boneless. I noticed at Costco, which is a big market here where we are. They always have theirs boneless, but I like to do the bone in. Gives a little more flavor, of course. And, um, but like a boneless one, you could use the short rib, make uh, tacos with that cut of meat. They are really good. I think we are almost there. I like to give them a little touch with my clean hand. Get that softness. You can tell it's about a good medium. I think we're ready. Oh yeah. If you wanted to reserve some of the marinade and then bring it back to a boil and uh, use that kind of like as a little drizzle sauce, you could do that too. And we'll just let our grill burn off a little bit. Okay, let's plate up. All right, I like to serve these with a little mound of sticky rice. Four ribs per serving. There you have it. Of course, we've got to garnish it. Maybe some little sesame seeds on there. And some diced green onion. Super simple, but elegant. Can't go wrong with beef short ribs. Well, it's time to give them a try. They smell delicious. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, those are nice. Got a little sweetness, a little spicy, a little tang. Very good, easy marinade. Please give this a try. Let us know what you think. And as always, thanks for tuning in.